Hey there guys, GamersX here with an interesting video. I decided because Titanfall has just released and it's a great game to make a series of guides for Titanfall. Why did I decide to make one as there are probably hundreds of those videos out there? Because I'll try to briefly explain every trick in the book introduced with Titanfall gameplay. It's not gonna be yet another commentary where a commentator talks about tips and not showing what he has told in the commentary, just putting 10 minute round in the background for the gameplay, no. What I'll explain I'll also show you on the screen with graphic design for easier presentation. Also expect there won't be all tips included in this video because to achieve that I would have to make 3 hour long video which neither do I or you want. Because the game has just released it's nice to lay down the framework of the game so to truly understand it the series is going to be divided to 4 parts. The first two videos, divided to Pilot's Guide and Titan's Guide, will be beginner guides for all of us who are new to the genre. The next two videos will introduce advanced tips and tricks to both Pilot and Titan classes. So today I will explain and introduce tips related only to Pilot. If you are playing as a Pilot, which you are the most time, this is for you. I want to have it separated for easier listening, so the next time we will be discussing the Titan Guide. So let's get to it! To understand the Pilot Guide, let's first check from what classes will you choose from when entering the battle. Up to level 5 you'll be unable to customize your pilot and will have to choose from 3 preset classes. The first two are unlocked instantly at the start where their names are Rifleman and the Assassin. The first one uses the R101C Carbine as primary weapon, which is a quite respective rifle in the game. The other one is equipped with the Smart Pistol, many players report of its overpoweredness, but I would disagree. It takes a few shots, yeah great, it's, it's good, it's awesome, but it takes a few shots long on your target, so the weapon is pointless at 1v1 battles, because the other guy will take you out unless you're flanking your opponent, where you have enough time to lock on, then you also have a shot at multiple enemies. So at level 3 you will unlock yet another class, the CQB Pilot Loadout, where his primary weapon is the shotgun, perfect in close quarter battles. But that's all unimportant anyway, because at level 5 you'll have the option to fully customize your class. At the moment renaming your present is not an option as Respawn told that their first priority when making the game was gameplay, so they will fix that with the next update. I'll briefly describe my favorite class at the moment, because I'm not as high level I, I cannot use the higher kit weapons. What I wanted to build was a short range combat specialist, mostly sneaking about buildings, looking for enemies, but also rushing forward for close quarter engagement when necessary. As for my primary weapon, I chose the R97 Compact SMG. Never have I played so much with an SMG in a game, but because this is a very fast paced game, I decided to check it out and it suits me quite well. I also equipped it to the suppressor and my favorite optic. As for the tight anti titan weapon, I chose the Sidewinder, because it has 25 rockets in the magazine and the launcher kind of fits my spray and pray primary weapon, as it is a rapid fire micro missile launcher, the major lack of the weapon is the, its damage spread and effectiveness. My current sidearm is the Hammond and I think we shall stick to it until I unlock the next one, which is the Wingman and try that out. It has great accuracy and produces quite a good kick. For the tactical ability I prefer the STIM as it boosts your movement speed and has an impact on your health regeneration. Cloak for me just isn't great, in Crisis that's a great ability, where it also fits the hunter team, but here you can't even uncloak whenever you want, you have to wait for the cloak meter to go to zero. For the ordnance I use the standard grenade, but I think my favorite one will be the satchel charge, which you unlocked at level 17. Because my class is orientated more for on the go, it's equipped with the enhanced parkour kit, which basically allows your pilot to wall run and wall hang for increased periods of time. For my second tire kit, I think I should prefer the ice pick kit, because as I mentioned earlier, our class is built to be more sneaky, basically some kind of hacker with combat experience to hack specters and turret control panels faster. At last you have the ability to change the gender of your class. The game has been released and some of you still don't know that you can wall hang in the game, yep, you can. It's simple, while wall running, simply click on your ADS button and it will basically hook you up onto the wall, so it's a great way to flank your enemies while being unnoticed. Now that you know that you can do that, here's a pro tip which I was targeting for, which is extended from the one I just mentioned. Basically, when you're pursued by enemies and you want to evade them, because there might be more than one of them and you have calculated that you're, you're outnumbered, you don't have a chance, fall back, run into building, while it's just a few meters away from the door frame from which you have entered the building, jump and hook onto the wall so that you have a gaze upon your enemies while entering the building. From then on, 
you have a huge advantage as their backs are exposed. They do not see you where you are. Simply put, easy praise. Remember this one as it just might save your life a few times. Wall running also has its great advantages. It's not just great to reach high places, it's also great to reach those hard points because it gives you a huge speed bonus, you're way faster compared to your enemies if they aren't wall running. That can give you an advantage while evading your enemies and then waiting for them in a tactical position to take them out. A great ability in Titanfall is Rodeo Kill Technique. The definition of rodeo is when used on an enemy titan, you are allowed to grapple on its back, giving it an opportunity to attack a weak point or at point blank, which will disable or kill an enemy titan effectively. Now, this is an advanced tip here for you guys. Try to rodeo an enemy titan whilst on his back and first dedicate a few bullets in his back and then lastly put a satchel charge on him, then quickly dismount him and trigger the satchel charge to hopefully destroy him. A great way to be fully loaded at all times on the battlefield is quite simple really. In Titanfall you have the ability to carry at least two weapons, your primary and your secondary weapon, as in any other game. However, unlike other games, here you can pick up another primary weapon and trade it for your pistol or your secondary weapon if you may. It's wisely to swap the weapons from the first dead guy you see, you'll not need to spare your ammunition anymore. Another way to be fully loaded at all times is though, or a titan is a requirement, to reload your titan because when you jump into one it will refill all your ammunition, not just your primary weapon but also grenades, rockets, everything that you possess. Then simply jump out of one and tell your titan to follow you. One of the hardest tricks in the book is probably, and you have surely heard about it, to call a titan on another enemy titan or enemy presence. You earn yourself your titan when you get enough kills, capturing objectives, basically when you earn enough points you'll get the ability to call yourself your, your very own titan, hence the name Titanfall. So when you're in a titan battle or when he just doesn't see you and he's somewhat stationary, try to predict his moves. Where is he going to move and where is his position going to be after 5 seconds? That's the duration of a titanfall, the time needed for your titan to fall to your desired position. So if you calculate it right, if you predicted his moves, it will give you that enormous satisfaction from destroying enemy titan by titanfall. Because everything that is underneath that titan, it will become crumbled metal the second he lands. Also it's good to know that your titan has different stances from which you can choose from. He can either guard some tactical position or he can go into follow mode. Overall how to play with a pilot. Be fast paced, do not stick to ground level as you will be destroyed by titans, try to wall run, use speed as your momentum, traverse the terrain at all costs. Simply put, be agile and fast. Take out those titans tactical, you will not win the battle with firepower because you are outnumbered there. You will only win the battle with tactical advantage. Don't forget to use your burn cards properly. Burn cards are basically a series of cards that are equipped for a single game and grant you status effect. But watch out, the effect goes away when you die. The moment you die, it goes away, so spare with those cards. That was it for today's guide. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is much appreciated. If you're new here, head out to my channel for great Battlefield and Titanfall videos and also other games, don't worry for other games. Don't forget to watch my next guide for Titanfall as next time will be the briefing the Titan class. Until then, I'll see you next time.